Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Chuck, KK6USY, and this is Ham Radio Adventures. So, not too long ago, I was doing some antenna testing, and I thought the bands were just totally dead. And thought not, nothing of it, put my radio away, and decided to test a different day. So I test a few days later, same thing. So what I think happened is, I think I broke my 991A. So today we're going to test it, and if it's got what, if what's wrong with it is what I think is wrong with it, that I'm going to try and fix it. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. The part that I think is uh, blown is on the front end, on the before the first and second amp, and uh, it's just a small surface mount. Uh, I think it's a resistor, if I remember right, but it's super, super tiny, about the size of a small tick. So let me set up the camera. We're going to look at the receiver. I'm going to set my 705 and the 991 both up side by side with the with an antenna switch and we'll check they're they're pretty equal usually um not much difference in receive but i think you're going to see something different today that they are not equal anymore but they will be hopefully let's check it out okay the volume on both of yeah, them is about this uh, about the same okay, here's the Andy. Fired up a little amplifier 705 here. that's 991a now if i push the ipo So it's definitely with the amp. The like the antenna thinks it's a little bit long. And I don't have the amp on, on the 705. Amps off, preamps off. So he's totally gone. And these radios are pretty comparable most of the time. So it's not like one receives better than the other. They're they're pretty equal, I would say, most of the time uh, when everything's perfect. All right. It's, so uh, looks like we're gonna have to fix this thing. Uh, next thing you're going to see is us turning this thing apart and trying to fix it. Okay, so you take some screws out, and I think it's these here, these five, and then two on each side. So we're just going to start taking those off. So we will get rid of that. And I think the area that we're gonna be playing with is right in here. So I'm gonna try and put that more in the middle here. I'm gonna set this up the way they have it in the picture that I'm looking at. And I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to that for you guys later. The one that's probably bad is this one right here. If you guys can see that. Okay, the red arrow here is showing the bad resistor. It's a 150 ohm resistor. this on the digital microscope that I did a review on a few months ago. Here I used some isopropyl alcohol before I solder. This looks pretty cool under the microscope, the way it moves around and it's, you can't really see this with the naked eye. I try to get the new resistor placed correctly for soldering. When I'm moving this thing, it's moving like an eighth of an inch or less. It looks like way more, but it's really hard to get this thing placed right.
tried to hold the uh, resistor in place with the tweezers so I can solder the resistor in in the place it's supposed to be. Okay, one side looks like it's connected. At this point, I'm probably good, but good is not good enough, so I have to mess with it some more. You'll see what happens. Yeah, I bridged it. But uh, I, I get it unbridged by just touching the soldering iron to the, uh, the solder thing and, and pulling it away. And when I finally get it, I just leave it even though it's kind of sticking out a little bit, but it's not gonna interfere with anything. Okay guys, uh, I have to tell you, I think I just got lucky fixing this thing, uh, but it does seem to be fixed. As you can see right now, uh, the preamp is off. Now watch when I push it, see how it jumps up. And it pumps up one more time. Okay. So there's the IPO off. Okay, so here we are, still on the 991. Now we are going to switch to the uh, 705. I need help. The station ending Alpha Bravo comes. Kilo Quebec 6, Alpha Bravo. Is it Kilo Quebec 6, Alpha Bravo? Yep. Roger that. We got you, Bob. Roger, Roger. Okay, back to the 990. There's a Roger, Roger. Okay. Anybody, anywhere? Kilo 6, Alpha Mike Uniform, man. Eh? Uh, you bet. Thanks for checking in. Whiskey 6, Alpha Mike Uniform. Got the duper. So I guess it's fixed. <laughs> we'll see for how long. Uh, as long as I don't throw 800 watts into the front end of it, I guess at close range. That might help. All right, that's all we got. Okay, guys. Uh, never once did I think I wouldn't be able to fix that rate. Okay, <laughs> not true. I'll tell you what. When I opened that thing up for the second time and looked in there and saw how small that part was, that resistor, I was like, ah, maybe I'll just send this to Yesu. But, you know, I, I got the scope out. That was a lot of the video of me doing the actual soldering and stuff was on that microscope that I did the review on. I'll put that down below in the description for a link to the video of that. I, I got in there and I put my the little small tweezers that I bought for this job and it moved quite a bit. I don't know if when it blew that it kind of blew something loose. So I was like, well, maybe I can take this thing off pretty easy. So I basically got in there with my soldering iron and just grabbed it with the tweezers and touched it and it came right off. I don't think I got that on video, but um, yeah, this is not something most people probably want to do. I've done a lot of soldering over the, I mean, shoot, I was in the, the automotive service for a long time and did a lot of soldering and stuff there also. So it's not like I'm a, a new solder. I'm not the best solder in the world. I'll, I'll tell you that for sure, especially on this stuff. The microscope did help, but it's really weird when you're trying to take your eyes here but you're working down here it takes a little getting used to and I'm, I'm really not used to it. I need to practice with it more but it did work so hopefully if you guys have this problem with your radio now you know what to look for 
and it, you can choose to fix it or not fix it. I, I think I got pretty lucky on this one. It, it uh, I just basically, I, I touched the old solder and it soldered on one side and then I put a little bit on and you can see, if I, if I post the picture of it, you can see like a little piece of solder that goes out of the corner. Well, that's because I bridged into another component and I had to break that loose. But, uh, and I just left it the way it was then. It wasn't interfering with anything. I did take that one wire that was right to the right of it as you're looking at it and bend it over just a little bit, just to give myself a little bit of room in there. I, I'm using a really super small tip on that soldering iron and it still looks huge when you start looking at it compared to the actual resistor. So hopefully you guys got some of this video and if you did, hit that like and uh, leave a comment if you've done something like this also. Um, maybe I did something wrong, maybe I could do things better. Go ahead and leave a comment, just be nice about it. And so if you're new here, uh, you might hit that subscribe button, hit the, the bell, hit all, that way you get all the future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY, this is Hammer Radio Ventures. Uh, be, everybody be careful, be well, 73 all.